Hello lads, this is Rich well, Bennett, okay. the podcast. I am delighted to welcome Steve on guitar and Luke on bass with Pure Sonic Outcast. How the hell are you lads? Excellent man, all good. Yeah. Welcome to the show man, it's great to, it's great to talk to another band from Northern Ireland, it is yeah, fantastic. Man, yeah. You're knocking Excellent. it out of the park with, with bands up there, lads. Uh, what a fantastic scene. Yes, it is, man. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. Mm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's quite, a, quite a, like intense like um, local scene because it's not a very big place, um, but yeah. it's a very mutually supportive place. Like, Good sense you, of community, you, like. Yeah, yeah you have the DIY venues, like um, the Richardos and Warzone, and um, everybody supports each other. It's not like a competitive one. Yeah, yeah. That's, good, that's, that's very important, man. And uh, as well as that, you've got James Loveday as well, who's who's so passionate about the scene. Yeah, James is he's amazing, actually. He's yeah, he's he's excellent. James, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, James, those free tickets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this year you're actually playing. Um, what is it? Metal to the masses, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal to the Masses, like, it was done, um, it started last year, yeah. or, like, 18 months ago, and honestly, like, um, didn't finish, but he's, yeah. put, he's putting it back on, and, like, these are the people you need um, to restart the music industry, and, yeah, it is. like, James puts in so much effort, and it's stuff like this that keeps it going, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, without the dedication of people doing stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, you, do, you don't have the environment to do it. So we were lucky enough to get through to um, the second round of it, and I think we're doing, like, the, the semi-finals or something like that. Oh, it the the yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's how exactly. would it feel to win it and get over to Bloodstock and play there, man? Oh, man, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be, fucking, aw it'd be fucking awesome, but, yeah. but it's also, like, like uh, we're not doing it for the competition aspect of it. Yeah. We're doing it just to like meet new people and mm -hmm. meet other bands, like yeah, and, um, and meet different people. Mm -hmm. Um, if you do happen to win and you, if you do happen to get over and play Bloodstock, that'd be yeah. like um, a big one. yeah, different. Yeah. But even but even on the way, like to know. Jeez, Luke, you're a very modest man. Fair play to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad bone in his body. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, there is. Could, could there you is. dispute that, Steve? Could you? Uh, I wouldn't, did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you actually been over to Bloodstock as a festival itself? No, no, no. No, no. No, no I, th I think the last big festival I went to was like fucking like uh, Oxygen. Oxygen, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been the smaller DIY ones like yeah. um, GTI and um, like you no know, punk run uh, DIY ones, which mm -hmm. is the human connection is a bit more important. Yes, so, very much kind of, so yeah. that's, that's what I mean about metal the masses. It's not the competition to win it; it's the it's the it's the being involved and having fun. Yeah. 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 Like you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, as well as that, you get a chance to convert more people to pure, to pure Sonic Ocas. Yeah, man, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Spread the word. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell Spread us about the word, how, yeah. the, how the band was formed, lads? <laughs> yeah. uh, our, our singer, Martin, yeah. um, he plays lead guitar as well. Um, it was his kind of pet project for a long time. Um, and he had he had some like really nice people working with him and um, doing it. Um, and then it's it kind of like uh, just kind of developed developed um, kind of once me and Richie joined. Yeah. Um, because it, it's it's sort yeah. of yeah we just, we just added different things like we come from different backgrounds we're all like. In, um, dedicated to it, mm -hmm. and we all have different interests, but we all have like a um, interest in making something of it. Mm -hmm. um, now, Luke, was it you? Which one of you were walking down the street dressed like a punk and Martin? Was that oh, you? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so Martin had it, Martin had it like a as his project, and we practice in like a rehearsal room here. Yeah. 
Um, my partner works beside, um, Mart- or works with Martin. And so Martin was like sitting in, in, in the room, like uh, noodling away yeah. in his home. Like, because he, he loves noodling, because he, he has like a hundred pedals. <laughs> he's like, like four different sets of heads and cabinets. He's just, he's, oh, he's one of those. Yeah. 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 And, stuff. Yeah. 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 and then, there was one day, um, like, we kind of just walked past each other. And, you know, the idea is, like, <clears throat> we all we are all kind of cartoon characters, in a sense. Like, you know, the way you dress, the way you art and yeah. stuff. Like, so I think there was one day I was wearing a studded jacket. Um, and then he walked past wearing a jacket with patches and stuff. And it was a wee bit of a bromance. <laughs> and <it> was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, from the from floor. <laughs> Yeah, but like, I mean, he could have met you and maybe you weren't a musician. Do you know what I mean? It was just bizarre yeah. that, like, the fact that you yeah. were a bass player yeah. and he needed a bass player. Yeah, yeah, he, he, could have been, he could have been an asshole or anything. Like, and I could have just been any other one of the middle person. But I suppose that's what I mean about the kind of, like, the cartoon character sense of it. Like, yeah. you know, um, the reason that you wear band t-shirts and stuff like this is you're trying to advertise like a sort of good aspect of yourself, um, yeah, and it just so happens that we're like, part of a tribe, a metal community. That's yeah, how we it, identify yeah. with our with, with each other's t-shirts. You know, definitely. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's the first thing we all look at each other like you're not looking at the guy's fucking <laughs> head. You're looking at the t-shirt and kind of going, yeah. "Ah, man, that's a cool fucking top or whatever." And yeah, yeah, it's a conversation, like you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, so we walked past, and I was wearing the study jacket, and then he talked to my partner, and um, he asked her. He goes, like, I don't even care if he can play bass. I want them in the band. <laughs> he looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a get him in there. Same, same kind yeah, of yeah. 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 And and but it's yeah. But I I have been playing around um Belfast with and on about with the war zone and volunteered with those guys and um you know the guys from Dublin like Sam Spree and things um so for a long time I haven't really done much of it like myself personally either mm-hmm. so for me it was kind of it was a really beneficial thing for him to say that to me also yeah um, it's like you're you're more like do yourself punk ethic uh, look, yeah. would it be. Yeah, 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 and I found that I found that I was spending a lot of times you no know, um, kind of volunteering act gigs, but not really you know, uh, not really playing, like wanting to play, mm-hmm. but not yeah. feeling like I was the type of person that can do that. And yeah, um, okay. just I suppose from a lack of self esteem and like different things like that. So, hmm. um, mm-hmm. who would have been your best heroes, Luke? What's up, Who would have been the people you would have looked up to playing bass? Yeah. Playing bass? Um, would it have been predominantly yeah. punk or would it have been what? It kind, of, kind of, I suppose, because because that seems like, you know, a very like accessible way to get into it. Like, there's mm-hmm. ones like, like Dilly, Bra- Dilly Bragg and um, Sounds and things. You no, know, like, all you really need is like three chords and the truth. And that's that's the genesis of of fucking everything. Like mm-hmm. you can be really technical with what you're playing yeah. with. And we do try we do try to be a bit more intricate. We do try to get like sometimes a wee bit pink floydy and a wee bit well, I can hear the clash. and we try to like, <laughs> I can hear the clash coming through as well, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Paul Simon is definitely like yeah, one of the worst. Like, man. What a dude, like. He's awesome, but then Paul Simon, like what he went through was, um, uh, was a jar wobble and stuff. That yes. he, he went, he went, he went through <coughs> and into reggae like yeah. influences and stuff. So we, he didn't just play punk, and I yeah. think that's what we try to do. You know, we don't just play heavy metal, we don't just yeah. play punk. <clears throat> we try to bring in a lot of different influences. Yeah. Um, what about you, Steve? Did you um, come from a metal background or what? Yes, kind I did. Of... Yeah. Okay. Was, cool. Who are your like heroes? Slayer and nice. Well, it's all the old school, you know, like yeah, the trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, um, and di- are you self-taught? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. play, man. That's cool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So again, and I, I believe Martin Dennis from Argentina, the singer and guitarist. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. That's right. How did an Argentinian end up in Belfast, pray tell? It's a fucking wild story. Yeah. I think he was part of the Harry Krishnas for a while. Yeah. And stuff like that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wild <laughs> man, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, so I think it, yeah, it was part of our Christmas, and he came over um, like fifteen years ago or so. So like previously, he played in a few old bands, like <clears throat> yeah, um, it was, and then it was kind of yeah, trying to start start it again. Mm -hmm. mm. I always think of Harry Krishna as I think of Harry Flanagan of the Crow Mags. He was a serious Harry Krishna head back in back really? in. The, Back in the eighties, uh, the Chromax, yeah, yeah, early, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and the uh, singer as well. What's his name, John? Yes. So Mart Martin tells a story that, like, while he was in the Harry Christmas, he um played like they had a heavy metal Harry Christmas one, um, but they but obviously <laughs> part, 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 part yeah. of the Harry Christmas giving up the um giving up your possessions, and yeah. things. Yeah. Um. So, so they had to like uh, borrow, um. All their equipment for any gig they ever played. Like, of course, it's, yeah. Can't, it can't have been an easy road to go down. Like, no. hmm. yeah. And like, you you've gone through one drummer already. Is it? Have you set a lineup yeah. now? Yeah. Burn. Yeah. Burn. Yeah. Burn. yeah. <laughs> You're yes. lucky to get another um, drummer, lads. I mean, it's, they are um, hard, um, yeah, hard, hard to find to get, in, yeah. in, in, in our yeah. type of music, anyway. Yeah. And he's yeah. good, also. That's another thing. You know, he's, yeah, he's yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah, we were definitely yeah. super lucky because our, our first drummer, um, he was, he's like, uh, he's going back to Germany, and that's when we usually left. Like, we didn't actually. Um, burn him out or lose him or anything. He just he happened to be going back to his uh, family there, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, just just through our like you know, friendships, we got yeah. Graham in. and Graham has like you know done his time in different bands, yeah, like hard rock bands. bands, and Graham really knows what he's doing. Like, yeah, and um, we're we are all kind of learning together in a sense. Mm -hmm. So Graham comes from a hard rock background. And we were trying to tell him to do, do like DV and fucking happy metal and stuff. <laughs> but he's got the capability. He's got the capability to do that. As yeah, well. so he does. Yeah. I mean, your EP reflections on this present condition. I'd imagine a title like that would be inspired by some uh, adventure Martin had with the Harry Krishnas. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. I would say, yeah. Uh, well, I suppose it's it's a concern for it's a concern for other people and stuff like and um, you know our we don't have a, a commission statement or anything, yeah. but it is it's a concern for like different people and wanting to connect and it just so happens that we really like noisy fucking happy metal yeah <laughs> and that yeah. that's our way of like you know um, yeah. saying this shit yeah I'm mm -hmm. gonna play a song off it it's one of my favorite tracks of the year so far lads i mean that it is it's absolutely brilliant it's called slum dwellers so we'll give it a blast here
is just spectacular. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> love that song so much, man. Yeah. Fucking hell. And, yeah. I, and Martin's yeah, delivery I, is so great as well, because I, you know, I didn't know anything about, about the man, and I was thinking, Jesus Christ, that's not a Belfast accent. Where, where is this guy yeah, from, yeah. you know? Yeah. And what about yeah. the... Yeah. Go on. I, su I, su I suppose it does kind of add a like, sense of mystery. Like, there's a lot of fans I listen to, and, you know, a lot of the time I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Yeah. Um, but the, it's the kind of... <laughs> it's, the, it's the ethos of the aim that you, that you, you understand the whole overarching thing. Yeah. Um, so we do like to think as well, though, if you do read the lyrics, it, it does yeah. get, kind of, get kind of detailed and say what we're saying. We do. And I think that's one of your strengths is because you're all from different backgrounds. There's so many different influences being played out there, especially on that song. I mean, I'm hearing Gangrene, I'm, as I said, I'm hearing The Clash. I'm just hearing loads of great bands that I loved. And you've just put yeah. it all into this melting pot and Slum Dwellers come out like it's fantastic. Yeah, man, yeah. And is that an old song, lads? How old is that song? It's not even that old. We're, we're not really an old band. Yeah, it's really like, um, We've only yeah. been playing for the last like, year and a half. And um, we did intend to play like uh, more live gigs because um, you know we've all been involved in local music uh, scenes and communities, and that was the intention. Um, uh, since the last twelve months or so, we have like to kind of talk to different bands from um, the more global music scene. Yeah. Um, but a band but like E would be perfect now in Bloodstock to hit the stage yeah. at like four o'clock, either the Jägermeister stage or the New Blood stage, and to hear yeah. the slum dwellers come on, man, it'll just mm. it'll be class. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be good. <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> Fingers crossed, man. But there's so, many, there's so many great bands on that bill that day. You're going to be so, just like, know, man. It's, it's just yeah. going to be nuts. And did you yeah. see that um, Elder Druid as well? They're bringing out a new album. Did you see the cover art for it yet? No. It's excellent. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it worked. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Man. Yeah. That's a shout out to Kelvin there with Serpent House Studios. Um, who did the cover of your album or EP? I should say. I did it. Yeah. Did yeah. You really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fair play to you, man. How long did yeah. it take you to do? I was like. <laughs> and for ages, and ages, and ages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, it was, it was good. Yeah, that's another thing you do as well on your in in your spare time, Steve. Is art yeah. more for graphic design or? Yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the okay, so we just uh, I want to talk about the EP. So there's six uh, songs on it. Um, so "Scream of a Thousand Corpses." And Photoshop Heroes, that's the intro. That's a great song. Yeah. Um, like, do you play a lot of instrumentals? To, you know, yeah. is it something yes, that... Yeah, hmm. yeah. yeah we, do, we do have them to play quite a few yeah, instrumentals. Yeah. Um, it's kind of not intentional. It's just the, the, the way it goes, like, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. just having them. Even, even the voices, even, like, you know, your voice is an instrument. Um, too. So yeah. sometimes it's sometimes it's not necessary. Sometimes you get the the point across, um, even by what you're yeah. playing. It's true. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, yeah. We know we know people from like you know, from different countries where they speak a different language and things. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it's a communality of, of, of thought and things. So sometimes you don't actually need to say the particular yeah. words. Yeah. Or you realize that you're thinking the same way. Mm, yeah, because I mean, Photoshop it. Heroes comes in at, at, at a perfect stage in that instrumental, you know, um, and it yeah. leads on nice, nicely then to Scars and Kiss. What can you remember about recording that song? That song? Is I'm there any meaning behind it? Scars and Kiss, we, we don't really play that one um, <laughs> these days because we kind of like want to reconfigure it or something. Yeah. Like yeah. We, we like the disparate parts of it, but mm -hmm. together, I think mm -hmm. we can try something maybe a bit different later on. Yeah. Um, um, so, this, yeah. 
so the idea is in scars and cases sometimes like sometimes life's a load of shit but sometimes like you know you can create your own beauty in life so sometimes yeah. sometimes life gives you scars and sometimes yes gives a kiss so. <laughs> and it's this nice yeah. uh, juxtapose um sand queen then you did a video for that didn't she no no I didn't which so, one was the one with it was like a ritual where you were offering the bowls what what, yeah. what song was that so they tell, tell us the story which would be said it's funny <laughs> yeah. so well, I, no. I think I, I, yeah I think that was Chasing Shadows I think yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Chasing Shadows yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were working with a guy from around here called um, Peter who does PM Pictures and Motions and he's, he's really really good like yeah, and, it's really, you know, yeah. when we're still new we're like babies starting this so we didn't really know what to do so I don't know the, the idea was like um <laughs> what was it what was the idea? That you do a ritual where you drink this fucking poison yeah. and you go into a different world. Yeah. And then you come, and then you come back. Um, but yeah. it's all shot off backwards. So is it? Yeah, there was yeah. A, a, lot, a lot of running around in it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fun, this one, yeah. So much fun, man. Yeah, so it was fun. It looked fun, yeah. It looked yeah. Fun, yeah. yeah, yeah. I it think really Yeah, and um, it suited the song actually as well. Yeah, and Demonized yeah. Masses was the other um, song we didn't talk about in Sand Queen. I, I really like Sand Queen as well. It's a great song. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, a lot of people seem to like Sand, Sand Queen, mm -hmm. and it's, it's more the, the stoner one kind of thing, like you know, the stoner kind of yeah. um, song. But it, it does seem to like get a really good reception mm -hmm. in different places, mm -hmm. um, which is very good. I think all of them sonically work really you know, well so. live. I, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing your set. <clears throat> Action is great. Yeah, yeah. And why did you go with the magician, as I call him, Josh? <laughs> um, well, with He's Josh, good, with yeah, Josh yeah. The, the, the Blackstaff Studios yeah. in Belfast, there's a couple of people down there. There's um, there's Arabic Studios, so I think... Um, uh, I think uh, Runt play there, um, and um, Marty Riot and things. So there's a, there's a it, it's a well known community, like you know. So um, yeah. we we've got we've got this kind of background of understanding of of our friends and other bands and things. Mm -hmm. um, and with Josh, we kind of stuck with him because he seems to kind of just support us really well, like you know. Mm -hmm. Not tells us what to do or not leads us, but helps us through it. Like you know, yeah. and mm -hmm. like when you, when you meet mutually supportive people like that, you just like to stick with them. Yeah. Of course, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and Josh, Josh really knows the shit, man. He does. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, we have no complaints. So there's mm -hmm. no reason there. No. The amount, the amount of bands I've had had on this show that have yeah. worked with Josh, it's just nuts. Yeah. And he has a he, he has a great way of uh, finding a band's sound. Yeah, man, and, he does. He does. Yeah. And you know, like I mean, it must have been <laughs> difficult for a band like E, who have so many influences. Yet again, the whole thing put together, it sounds so good. You know. Um, mm -hmm. So he had six songs on the EP. How many songs have he that didn't make the EP? EP. Yeah. I think that's it. We have a couple of ideas floating around. Like for, yeah, no. for, 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 we're doing an album hopefully by yeah. the end of this year or the start of next year. Mm -hmm. And there's right. not a huge amount of songs on the album. There's maybe like eight yeah, songs sure. in total. Yeah. Um, but each song is maybe six or seven minutes. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's kind of the idea that you, like um, that that you live with it for a while and then you um, explore it and expand it. So it's not that we we do have some like jams and shit that we yeah. Mm. yeah. And you did a few yeah. online stuff as well, didn't you? Did a few live streams. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who did you play with? There was one of them uh, an American band, was it? Yes. Uh, no. We played with a couple of American bands. There was Greenhog. There was Greenhog. Um, yes, that's them. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. How did that come about? 
like it, it was that idea that like we would attack, like we would um ideally be playing like live gigs in front of people yeah and um, but because that's not happening you know we cross your net a bit wider and um, so we were talking with uh, fans from different countries i think our, our next one is with a german band and um, slaves and bulldozers and um, oh, i've heard of that yeah, they're good, man. Slaves, slaves yeah. and bulldozers, really. Yeah, so, yeah that, that's our that's our next live stream. We were talking with a, a Thai, I think they're from Thai, Thailand. Who's this? A protest. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, I mean, there was Comarca from Argentina. Yeah. And a Black Power Superstar from America. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so that's kind of the idea that we're trying to do. Um, that, you know, people are people no, no matter where you are. And um, you try and uh, take care of people, take care of people, and get involved. And you know, that's yeah. Strong, isn't it? Yeah. And as well it as is. that, you're getting to a wider audience as well when you're playing with more yeah. bands. It's it's a different way of doing it online. You know, it's streaming. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, bad. Yeah, that's the like James. Also, a couple of years. Hello. <laughs> I think it's all right. And it's just. So just to know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's studio, you know, so it is, but they're giving us, it's everywhere, so it is also, it was strange mm-hmm. in a way, you know. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, we might get fucking, we, we might get massive in like Germany or fucking, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you could get a tour out of Germany, you know. Um, Germany tends yeah, to embrace yeah. all, all types of, of metal and punk, they've really, Strong background, liking punk as well. Talk to me yes, about it. Okay, artillery music. Uh, how did that come about? Actually, I don't know how it came about. It's it's because our guitarist uh, Martin is yeah. a really hard worker man. He is, um, is. He and um, does drive a lot of it, and um, so he puts in the a lot of effort in talking to different people. Yeah, and um, on the hours and just. Talking, but but it's also it's also a supportive thing. Like you know, there's once you meet different people, they will introduce you to other people and all. So that's the that's the benefit of talking to a diverse range of people. Yeah. Um, but I would say mainly it's like Martin does his shit a lot of work. Yeah. Does um, for us, like, yeah, you need somebody like that in the band that will just constantly yeah. uh, strive to yeah. to get things done. You know, <laughs> others mm-hmm. will just play along. <laughs> yeah, it's just to push it on and it takes somebody with that drive, like you know, the rest of us are dedicated and we do um like we do really care about our craft and like the things yeah. we play and we really like uh want to kind of create the, this noise in the world. Um but without Martin, like to you know we wouldn't have that focus. Yeah. But for sure, we do um, rely and pre- rely on and appreciate our time um, for doing that so much. Yeah. Mm. And f- can people get a physical copy of the EP, lads, or is it on digital, or can you get a CD, or did you go vinyl with it or anything? Uh, yeah, so we've got copies of the like our CD copies of our EP, so you can fucking send any of us a message. Like we're all nice people, yeah. and we all really enjoy like talking to people. Um, Pure Sonic Outcasts is is kind of a unique thing, so it's not difficult to find this. And like, mm. if you just start selling Google, there's not many other people that come up. Uh, we did, we got our final reissued. Um, I'm not mm. sure if there's many left because we did quite well, and yeah, like they kind of sold a lot of them. <clears throat> so that'd be a good one. Get get a final, the yeah. day. and then by the end of the year, our tours of Towards the start of next year, we're hoping to have a, like a full album, like full LP. And right. hopefully, if people keep supporting us, then um, we'll hopefully get that issue done final as well. Yeah, it's great, man, to have um, a good selection of stuff, especially when you're playing gigs. You know, the way fans like coming up to the merch stall and there's nothing yeah, worse than, than seeing a band with like one T-shirt and, or a patch <laughs> and, and that's yeah, it, yeah. you know? Jesus yeah. Christ, like, especially with I, the heavy. Yeah, that's right. We've got t-shirts too and all. Like, yeah. uh, the guy said, Grim, Grim Dyke in Belfast have done, done a regular t-shirt, t-shirts for us. And Shay um, over in England 
did a couple of t-shirts too. Um, so yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so it's nice to have some. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you go, but the thing is, as I said, I'm going to see you in July and I can't wait to see you live. And uh, for, for those fans that are out there, just to find you, you can get you on Pure Sonic Outcast on Facebook. Um, yeah, man, yeah. Your EP is up on Spotify. Is it on Bandcamp as well, or how else? Yes, everything's on Bandcamp. Yeah, we turned into our link Bandcamp. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, which I which I read a lot of you find this summer. Yeah, and a shout out to Martin and Graham who couldn't join us tonight. And as I said, Absolutely. you have, in my opinion, one of the best songs of the year so far with uh, Slum Dwellers. And congratulations on that. And thanks for coming on the Metal Thank Cell you. podcast, Luke and Steve. Cheers, lads. Okay, everything's good, man. See you.